guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Alurin Stena. So um, today I'll be discussing on how to apply for the NCLEX RN exam in the United States. As we know, with all the pandemic that is going on around us, the United States has actually expressed their interest to hire nurses from abroad. And we know that in the Philippines, there's a lot of registered nurses. So I'm sure most of my friends or some of you who are watching this is actually interested to come here to the United States. So I'll be sharing you my experience just to give you a little bit of background about me. I am a registered nurse. I am also a... Uh, an MSN student. I'm trying to finish my master all here in the US um, because before I moved here, I didn't finish my MSN and I'm currently working at a hospital. I'm a registered There's nurse. Seven important points to remember when wanting to become a US RN. So number one on the list is choose a state. We all know that the United States has 50 states, so it is very important for us to choose which state would we want to apply for the nurse licensure exam. But one thing that you have to consider, there is the so-called Nurse Licensure Compact. So there are 25 states, you guys can search that on Google, there are 25 states that are included on the Nurse Licensure Compact. So you guys can Google it, it's very easy. But to name a few, um, I live in Texas, Texas is one of them. So, you, so since I am a registered nurse in Texas, I can also practice um, nursing in Arizona, Arkansas, Colorado, Delaware, Florida. Those are some of the states that are included on the nurse licensure comp. So number two on the list, once you already have chosen which state are you interested in applying for the nurse licensure exam, just like for my experience, I am in Texas, so I'll be discussing on Texas by itself. So you guys can go to um, Texas Board of Nursing. As I mentioned, I'll be discussing Texas Board of Nursing, so just go to Google and type Texas Board of Nursing and you guys will see the website and it will look like this and then check on the application and forms. So just scroll down and you'll see those different forms and if you're applying for the NCLEX RN or NCLEX LVN, you guys will see it there and then just click here. And at the bottom, it says guidelines, and you just fill out the form online. Number three on the list is um, uh, you're supposed to have a three at least three years hospital experience in a tertiary level hospital. That is one of the requirements of the state of Texas. So for my um, experience, I've been a registered nurse in the Philippines since um, 2008, before I moved here in 2016. So I work in a clinic, I work in a tertiary hospital, I was a private duty nurse, and um, I also work in a big hospital in Manila. So those are the things that you have to consider. You have to have at least a three years hospital experience in a tertiary hospital. Number four on the list is filling out the application form when you go to the Texas Board of Nursing. Number five on the list is um, paying for the background check. That is one of the requirements of the Texas Board of Nursing. They are using Identigo, although there are other companies that you guys can use for the criminal background check. But for the state of Texas, um, they are using Identigo and it costs $30 for that. I forgot to mention that for the background check, there are three subcategories wherein you have to choose between if you are apply or you are an applicant residing in texas whether you are an applicant that is non-residing in texas and in my case i was still in the philippines before i applied for the nurse licensure exam so i belong to that category and the num and the third category is applicants without social security that time i didn't have any social security also um one thing that you have to remember is there are certain states like california you need to have your social security number before they would even approve you to apply for the licensure exam and in texas i didn't have my social security number but i know that i will be moving in texas so i just made that annotations on my um, application and i was able to apply for the nurse licensure exam another is the so-called cjpns verification the cjpns is like uh, like a governing body who would verify your credentials in the Philippines if you are a foreign educated nurse like me. Um, they're going to evaluate your um, diploma when you were you graduated in college, if you really had the BSN degree, your transcript of records, and that costs around $300. And it took a while for me to get that verified. I think I waited six months before they finally approved my credentials. 
Number seven on the list is you have to pass the nursing jurisprudence exam. The nursing jurisprudence exam is an online exam which costs $50. So it actually is a 50 items exam. It's an open book online but you are timed. So as long as you get 75%, you'll pass. But this is a very important requirement before you could even apply for the ATT, which is the so-called authority to test. So once you completed all those, like if you have the three years experience, if you filled out that application, if you passed your background check, if your CJPNS um, qualifications has been verified, and if you pass the nursing jurisprudence exam, then you can apply for the ATT. So application of ATT is to be paid at Pearson Boo. This is like a governing body that would um, give you the ATT and that's where you take your exam as well. And for the examination fee alone, that costs $200. And ATT is being issued in two weeks as long as there's no problem with all your um, submitted requirements. And once you, once you receive your ATT, this ATT is good for 75 days, which means you have 75 days to book your exam before it expires. So um, once you get your um, ADT, now you're ready for NCLEX, of course, you have to review before you could pass the exam. And NCLEX RN is, um, is a computer adaptive test. It's a 265 items, which means um, the computer is going to adapt based on your knowledge and skills. So you could pass or fail in any number, but the minimum questions that you can get is 75. It's either, um, if the computer stops at 75, it's either you did really well and you pass or you didn't do so well and you failed. <laughs> yes, yeah, so you could pass or fail in any number because the computer is going to adapt to your um, knowledge. So anyway, on my next video, I can um, discuss to you the different types of exams that are being asked on MCLEX as well. So that's it guys, that's a very brief um, information about my experience on how I became a, uh, or on how I applied for the registered nurse licensure exam here in the US. And tune in for my next video, I'll be discussing to you the different um, types of questions that are being asked on the NCLEX. And in the next couple of weeks, I will be also be discussing about how much is the salary of a registered nurse here, just so you guys will have an idea. And what is the cost of living or how much is the cost of living in the United States. So thank you guys. See you again next time.